these challenging times can take a toll on our mental well-being. There's ambiguity about almost everything. So A, people struggle with ambiguity. Nick Wallace is a therapist at All In Therapy Clinic in Minnetonka. You know, we could all be very easily isolated. Jen Atherton is a mental health counselor in Maple Grove. Both are trying to continue providing their crucial services while also trying to keep their distance. So it's very important that people find a way to continue the relationship with their therapist um, through this time and not start stuffing their feelings. The goal here is to try and find a way to continue doing therapy, uh, continue helping people in a way that is A, accessible, and then B, that, uh, that really works. So Nick and Jen have now moved to telehealth or virtual therapy with their clients, which they say has been a success for the most part. People were open to the idea of telehealth and they were willing to give it a try. And like, wow, like, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we could make this work. However, the adjustment can be tough. Yeah, sometimes the, the video will lag or will stop altogether on one of our ends. But for those experiential forms of therapy, um, it, it can be a bit more difficult. Um, insurance issues and billing and not knowing for certain if we're going to be reimbursed by a certain insurance company or policy. But the most important message, therapists are working to be there for you. If you need the support, we're still here. Alex Hagan, Care 11 News.